So as you can see, I've taken the potatoes, I've cooked them, they're, they're done. I can fork, fork through them. This is what I want right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do after I drain them, I'm gonna leave them hot, okay? Don't rinse them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop some butter off. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of butter. That's one. Well, about one and a half tablespoons. About, about, yeah, about two, about two tablespoons of butter. So now this butter was frozen, so it might take it a while to um to melt down, which is fine by me. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper in here. A little bit of salt. Salt and pepper are really the key, and butter are really the key to good mashed potatoes. All right, so here we go. So all I'm doing is I'm mixing them up just like this here, and they breaking themselves now, and you're just gonna mash. Now, some people have a potato masher. If you cook them good enough, you really don't need it, honestly. You can do it just like this. It smells so good, all I smell is butter. Butter and taters. Taters and butter. See, that's the consistency you want, right? See how that's almost mashed? But you gotta add one more thing to give it the whip that you want. But I want all my butter to melt before I do it. Now, I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream cause that cream is gonna give me that milky consistency that I want. If you wanna use milk, evaporated milk, whatever you want to use, that's up to you. So I'll say about a fourth, let's start with about a, a third of a cup. We'll start about a third of a cup, start there. And that'll work for me cause I don't have that many potatoes. But if you have more potatoes, then you can put more than that in there, okay? Show you what they look like in one minute. I'm all whipped up here, just about. See how simple that is, y'all. Look at that. Stop buying them instant potatoes out the stove. Then you just put your salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. Y'all see I made that in about 15, 20 minutes maximum. That's mashed potatoes. So, it's nothing you can't do. My lamb chops are coming off next. I'm going to show y'all what they look like at the, at the end. So, you guys can look at our meal and go from there. And there you have it. Homemade mashed potatoes and lamb chops and a herb and garlic and butter. Simple as that. Yep.